Disclaimer. The following statements in this video are controversial takes on this topic. This is my opinion along with someone else, and everyone has their right to their own opinion. So, we just have to be civil here, we can't agree to disagree, and enjoy the video. Hot Wheels is a well-known and beloved toy company which specializes in toy cars. There are billions of cars made in factories produced and shipped globally for kids to enjoy and play with. Although playing with cars is one of the many ways that most buyers or kids use it, other consumers collect cars and resell them for profit, even though the prices are quite unethical. Both of these usages are normal, uh, in which I kind of understand, whether it be fantasy or licensed castings. It's all made for ages to enjoy the hobby or the entertainment of it. One aspect I'd love to dive into is collecting older fantasy castings. They're comparatively better than the new ones. Although, the question that I have to ask is... Why are they underappreciated? Why are most fantasy castings these days are kind of looked down upon? I mean, I know some people collect more licensed castings than the older fantasy castings, but to look at it in a perspective, here's how I kind of view it. But you can say my view is wrong. It's just an opinion that I already said in the disclaimer above. The main point of this question is that they're the art of Hot Wheels. What does that mean, I hear you ask? These fantasy castings are basically Hot Wheels original designs that the design team came up with. Although the original Sweet 16s have some cars that are based on their real-life counterparts, aka Dior 2, most of the well-known fantasy cars, well, the ones from 1960 and 2014, make Hot Wheels stand out more than other toy car companies. To me, at least. Even though some of their designs look a little bit wackier than others. Twin Mill, Splendid Image, Silhouette, Silver Bullet, or Aero Flash, if you want to call it that way. Speed Blaster, Power Pistons, Power Pipes, Slingshot, Ballistic, Dior 2, Reverb, Power Rage, MSQ Suzuka, Asphalt Assault, Riveted, Hollowback, High Voltage, Rocket Fire, RD10, Fast Fish, and many more make up for these blessed fantasy cars made by the company. Moreover, each and every one of these designs give off a subtle detail to it, which gives them a uniqueness that can be described by basically their own imagination, young adult or kid-like. Plus, back then, the graphics were hella awesome back in the day. Well, mostly in the 2000s and the 1990s, actually. The examples are Rocket Fire, a spaceship on wheels, Hollowback, a dystopian muscle car that may be based off of a Dodge Challenger, Baseline, a 2000s tuna-esque pickup truck, GT Racer. It could be based off from a Le Mans prototype sports car. Anthracite, a militaristic European hypercar. I just wish this one was in the Hot Wheels Exotics mainline sub-segment, or I don't really know. <laughs> RD10, an AI piloted jet fusion racer. There are many more examples that can be listed, but those subtle details of these cars are what makes it special and unique, rather than slapping a food or an animal than just putting wheels on it. To me, that's lazy. <laughs> Unfortunately, as designs get wackier, lazier, and less realistic in the modern era, it is understandable why fantasy castings are rarely collected these days, presumably due to cost cutting. No wonder I see a fantasy casting with color and decal choice, they're always, <laughs> they always just disgust me. It's just like, whenever I see them, it's just comparing them to the older ones. How the great have fallen. I mean, even though the more people collect licensed castings, there's always this feeling or this sort of gut feeling that I have in which that most of these castings might lose their touch over time. And... No offense, but collecting these days feels a little bit too basic. Which also feels like as if it's the norm of collecting as of now. I mean, come on. At least try to be a little bit unique, would you? Just be a little bit diverse. Instead of just collecting license and only that. Just 
got expanded, you know? Without fantasy castings, Hot Wheels would be a soulless company that only relies on licensed car manufacturers. If I'm being a little bit honest. It's quite painful to see some fa fantasy castings that are discontinued over time. But nonetheless, they always hold a special place on our hearts. <laughs>